I landed with my <gasps> board like this, and I was bleeding, and I thought I started my period. And it was like all over. It was really gross. And so then <laughs> I went, yay! Like, like waved the red flag. And Wait, she's the like, red flag. <laughs> flung it off a cliff. <laughs> Just hope it didn't hit anyone below. <laughs> share with you some embarrassing stories and we have some special guests with us we have the Leroy and we have Cassidy from Jared and Cassidy yeah! <laughs> and I will link their channels down below so you guys can go check them out but we wanted to get together as friends because we're super excited to share some of these crazy stories with you um, we're gonna share some embarrassing period stories <laughs> um, how do we get started? This is like the awkward part. Start it. Oh, let's all just start by how old start it were we? Yeah. yeah. How old were you? That's a good question. I don't remember how old I was. I think I was 14. That's right. I was 14 and in ninth grade when I started my period. Mine. I was 13 going into 14. I actually had it over summer. I was at a movie with my friend, actually. We were just in the movie theater, and I'm like, um, something does not feel right. So I went to the bathroom, and I'm like, oh my gosh. Told her, and she was like dying laughing. I'm like, because you know, she hadn't started yet, so she was thinking that was just hilarious that like it happened to me. And then she thought that like, it, like she like made jokes and like all that good stuff. Like, I didn't movie know what to theaters, do. that's awkward. It was awkward. I did tell my mom, and my mom, as soon as I got home, my mom was like, oh, let's go celebrate. Yeah. <laughs> she should have done yeah. that. You want to celebrate? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I had a friend. This is a crazy story, and I won't say names or anything. But I had a friend um, who I knew in college, and she, when they did start their period, her dad was a doctor, a, a um, oh. an OBGYN, and so when they started, they like would have a full-on celebration, uh -uh. like red balloons uh -huh. and like like strawberries and like any kind of bread fruit that there was like and it was a house full of girls and so they would throw this huge party <laughs> and like welcome them us. into womanhood we have that joke so <laughs> so i was like oh a super late bloomer so my sister every single month was just like hey when it comes we're gonna have a period party because like, i didn't start till i was 16. that's not and too so, bad though so, like yeah you were not Oh, you weren't young at all when you started. You were really yeah, a late bloomer. I was sure. ready for sure. Yeah. <laughs> You're anticipating. <laughs> yeah, but we never actually had a party like Now that. you like, she always said don't love Mother Nature so much anymore. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, One time I did think I started though because I was skating and I went to cook this rail and landed with my <gasps> board like this and I was bleeding and I thought I started my period, but. I didn't. Either. You just damaged good. Just damaged she good. Did. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's, that's, that's a very <laughs> Well, I was like with all these guys and I like went straight up and I was like, good thing I'm not a boy. Like pretended to be okay and went inside. That was okay. That is so sad. <laughs> We've actually made jokes about that a lot too with like Kesley, like when, if, when, you know, the good times come. Like, like we are like, uh, I'm gonna, I'm like, and I joked about it. I'm gonna throw a shirt out the window and like be like, yay! Like wave the red flag. And wave she's the like, red flag. And she's like, what does that mean? Don't you dare, mom. Don't you dare. See, we can well, just create our own embarrassing stories for our well, children. Well, the thing is, my mom, um, her sibling, her older siblings yes. would do it to each other. They did. So. They did do that. Did they really? What? Yes. That is hilarious. Like, as soon as my like, sister started, she was like, Ren is a woman. And she like opened the window up and she like and all the guys are walking home from school and she was waving this red shirt out the window. Oh my gosh. So embarrassing and Brenda's like, oh, like just totally embarrassed. <laughs> so good times. Oh my goodness. How about you play any embarrassing stories? No. no. Yes, you do. You have embarrassing stories. No, I don't. <laughs> Alright, I'll tell an embarrassing story. I think when I was in, I I played cello, like right cello. And mm -hmm. when I was in orchestra class, I was sitting and just you know, waiting to play and listening to um, our instructor, and he 
um, like was that one side of the room and it goes to the other side and I was like, oh my goodness, I think I have to go to the bathroom, I think I have a problem. But the bell's gonna ring in like two minutes and I was like, I'll just wait. Mm -hmm. And when I like looked down, I noticed I had soaked through my pants onto the chair, which was like a hard plastic chair, which was good that it was hard plastic and not like had a cushion. Um, anyways, I had soaked through onto the, onto the chair. So luckily I had a, I had a like hoodie around my waist um, and it was kind of in the back because I didn't like to sit on it, so it hadn't gotten um, any any spotting, I guess, or red. And so as I stood up, I used it to wipe the chair just in case, and then I like tucked that a little bit lower around my waist, and I ran to the bathroom, and I went home that day. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you. That was really right? embarrassing. Oh man, would you awesome. let me do that? Um, yeah, if that happens, I'm. You can go home. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Clay, don't you have one? You no, said you had no, one. It's not embarrassing. Just tell it. It's boring. So we were in choir and we had just gotten our new shirts for choir. And so everyone was folding shirts and I had to go to the bathroom, so I went to the bathroom and I had started. And but that so then and it was like all over. It was really gross. And so then <laughs> I went <laughs> oh. <laughs> And so then I went back to our class, got some supplies, and then went back to the bathroom. Yeah. Well, glad that you didn't did start you call, class. Did you call your mom? Nope. My mom was in, in university studies. Oh, shoot. Who did you call to come with <laughs> you? I didn't. You just oh, dealt she with just it. Stayed. Like a champion! Yeah! <laughs> camping. Oh, can I tell you my experience with the camping? Oh my god. Here gosh. we go. Okay, this, this is, is good. This one. is this is super embarrassing. Okay. Well, I mean, I mean, I was only dating Corey at the time. We went we went to Lake Powell, and they like full on like camp. Okay, they're this family yeah. is all about camping. And like camping to me is like a bad hotel. Okay, I don't <gasps> like camping at all. It's like the worst. It's the best. No, no, not in Lake Pal. So we went and he's like, hey, you'll have to use like you'll have to <laughs> dig a hole and you're gonna have to like yeah. were you in your period? Oh it totally was. Oh I was gosh. so oh, mad and we were just barely dating. We only like dating like three or four months. And I'm on a vacation with this family. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm on my group. I'm all bloated as it is, and we're down in Lake Pal and I had to like dig a hole, and each time I'd take a tampon out and bury it into the ground. It was the most like embarrassing feeling. Like I don't know, just because it's, like it was just awkward. I don't know. It's not like it's that big of a deal. No, tampon. that is embarrassing. It is so I like so it's awkward. It's camping in Hawaii. Yeah, it's so beautiful. I didn't want to leave it anywhere, but I didn't have anything to pack it, so I just like flung it off a cliff. <laughs> Just plug it all <laughs> I just hoped it didn't hit anyone. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> I, so I didn't know what to do with it because I didn't have like anything. Like the other people brought food, so I couldn't oh, use like wrap like, like, bag or anything. anything. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Mm. Like, oh, yeah. Wait, where I were you? Super, Make like, a wish. <laughs> because I felt so bad for littering, especially in like a in Hawaii. Like that. Like, she's gonna be like exiled. She's not allowed to go back to Hawaii ever again. <laughs> when I was, uh, we went to a friend's house for a party, just like a couple friends, and I didn't know this person really well, but um, I went to, and I and I was younger, so I had hadn't had a period for very long, and I had, was on my period. I was I was changing everything out, and I flushed it. Oh no! So don't flush your ever yes, flush so anything that you have on a period, like any pads or tampons oh. or anything, like. And be careful how much toilet paper you, you flush down too. But I flushed one um, it, down the toilet and it totally clogged the toilet. And it didn't like overflow, but I didn't know what to do. I didn't know the person that lived there like very well at all. Like, oh, was that a. It was at a friend's house. Ooh. Like, it was at a party. So I went with friends to this party and it wasn't like tons of people, but like enough that like I didn't know her. So the water just filled really up. Well. But, like, so it just filled up at the top. Luckily, it had gone down and the. Colored ev evidence had gone down, like everything had gone down, but like was stuck, and it filled up the toilet, and I, I just sat there for like ten minutes in the bathroom, and I'm like, uh, and I couldn't, it? no, like I, I, I couldn't plunge it. There wasn't a plunger. Like it's embarrassing to it's ask. Just, yeah, it's so embarrassing. So I didn't know what to do, so I just left it, and I just left, and the water was full, but it didn't overflow, and I just, I just left. It was super bad, bad. Oh so never flush it. That's like horrible. Yes. But I, yeah, even, I don't know why school? I did. I wonder if I like, I can't remember if I, like, I accidentally dropped it or what, but like never flush it. So. Never flush yeah, it. when you're at yeah. school, it's so disgusting. Seeing other, like, no, I've seen yeah, yeah. in the bathroom. Always. Yeah, people are gross. Like, there's always girls are gross. They like, don't like flush, or not just girls, all toilets. 
They're like, there's always like half that are yes. unflushed oh. or like things are in it. Yeah, like, yes. just luckily the there's at least seven yeah. toilets mm -hmm. at our school, but like, in our, like, there's a specific hallway, dying over here and too. like, all of them, like, it's the yeah. most disgusting hallway to go in to go to that. Like, yeah. there's a nasty. certain hallway. Oh my gosh. So nasty. Just crazy. Okay, there we go. I think we shared enough. This was yeah, great, guys. Did. What about, um, has anyone had an embarrassing story with periods on a date? Ooh. That'd be you two parents. And you I wasn't like specifically on a date, but I was going to meet a guy like with a group of friends. Mm. And I started and like nobody, like the one time none of my friends had any supplies. And so, you know, you gotta shove a bunch of like toilet paper in your pants oh. until you like can get something. So, uh, so uncomfortable. Toilet paper like, like. And then you just oh, feel icky until Ew. you take a shower. Ew. Ew. So it was uncomfortable. She's like. Interesting. Are, take you, notes. are you looking forward to take all notes, the good Kessler. stuff? Oh. Are you looking forward to everything? Are you two right now? Well, she started today. <laughs> I know. <gasps> Don't jinx her. <laughs> jinx. <laughs> vibes. I literally Feminine thinking vibes. about that really. That's so funny. <laughs> That's right. Okay, my friend and I, we were, um, she, was, oh, yeah. she was actually in eighth grade. I was in seventh grade. We were taking the bus to school in the morning. And I was joking with her, walking, and you know, I don't know why it's funny to like make fun of people that have, like, if you haven't started yet, you actually think it's funny to like, because you know some, your friends are going to start, so it's funny to you to like, mm -hmm. to like, you know, joke about it. And so I saw her, I'm like, she's wearing white shorts, like white tight shorts. Like they were literally the, the what do they call them? Just like the, Spandex, like pretty much spandex shorts, and like you know that was like the cool thing back in back in the day when I was in school. Back but, in the day. Back in the day. That was like a couple weeks ago. Like, <laughs> well, now it's come back, but yeah. <laughs> but she um, was wearing them, and I said to her as a joke, I'm like, "What if you start? That would be the funniest thing ever." And she's like, "No, yeah, that would be really funny." Like, and then she gets in the bus, and then. Like literally by two hours later I see her at school, she's like, I started. I'm like, shut up! And she's like, and she's like, it went through her pants. And I was, I mean, I laughed, but I shouldn't have laughed because it's mean. You guys be sensitive to my to these friends with your <laughs> That's right. You guys should be nice because <laughs> everyone has to go through everyone it. Everyone has to go through sooner it. Sooner or later. Yes. We all do it. It's normal. So embarrassing. <laughs> see, um, I, I always got embarrassed when I go to buy. Oh my products. The worst. I don't know if you guys ever do that. Yeah. I always got embarrassed when I go to buy them and I would like go and I get like I whatever get supplies I need and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna shove the pickles, macaroni and cheese, some pads, yes. and then like I the rest of the stuff, like just shove it all in there. And then like when you check out, you're like, great pickles. Good. Good. I and then like you kind of ignore them. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, we bought that too. I always too. have to try to find, if it was a guy at the register, I'm like, oh my gosh, please be a girl somewhere. Please be a girl, because I did not want yeah. a guy. And I still do that, guys. It's weird. Like, I know I'm like, oh, I think it's because like, if I buy it when I'm on my period, I'm like, they will know. They will see <laughs> they through will me know. and know I need this for right now. <laughs> but if I don't buy it, like if I buy it when I'm not yeah. on my period, then it's yeah. like, bye. Yeah. I'm like, it was just normal stuff, you know? But, you but, got, like, but you've got your pads, your tampons, and all like your chocolates and stuff. I know, like, like, all together, like, I know, she just must, Advil, give it to she me. She must need that. She must need that. <laughs> I'm gonna get Kesley a prepared kit. We're gonna get you. Should. We're gonna you should. Really I told her, I'm like, I'm gonna get a big, you know, bowl of chocolates in your room and some oh, like, salty foods. <laughs> and I'm gonna get you some what? Advil. <laughs> oh my god. Wait. Miss you. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, 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 and I got a good idea. You guys, this is one other thing I remember we had a code word for tampon. So if you like, you're in school and you're with your friends or whatever. Oh, you call a pencil? No, I'm just saying. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we we actually would call it string cheese. So my friends oh. and I. Oh. Well, no, you listen. have now ruined string cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Like we just say, do you guys have any string cheese? And like, they're like, yeah. So they go get you a tampon. Like you, this is your code word. Mm. I, it's gross if you think of it actually as a string cheese. But I can oh. eat string cheese just fine. So. Um, I hate string cheese. Clay, no, tell them your code more. word. She was telling me they have like code words at their school. Oh, at our school. Okay, so here's a really funny thing. My friend, I call her Peaches, because that's just what I like to do. And she's telling me that if you needed supplies um, from the office, you said Peaches. You say Peaches to the, like, the code office staff. Code word is Peaches. Aww. That's cute. They have a code word. That's awesome. So that is so funny. And your friend Can I get some Peaches? Word. Yeah. Yeah, so now, nickname is now me and my, now so do you now call her tampon? <laughs> or pad? No, hey, pad. we still make 
Wait, I still make jokes about it. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Did you ask Cassidy? We just called it like girl stuff. Like empty girl stuff. Empty girl stuff. I call them flotation devices. <laughs> That's because pads float. It. Oh, they totally do. That's right. Oh, I've no. never used a pad. Why? Ever? Ever? Never? Mm -hmm. You don't need it with a tampon on occasion no, that you are you. heavy. Nope. I just remember I started my period. My mom was like, "Hey, mom, I started." Grabbed one. Going back to school, she's like, "You got it in there? You're okay?" I'm like, "What? Good." Mom was like, "Lots of you? good embarrassing moments yes. going on." <laughs> yes, Clay. Yes. Yeah, my mom. No, do you know what's funny is a couple. We had our what? We were downstairs. And I screamed. And, uh, yeah, you. You're like, "Wow!" I was like, no. "It's time to celebrate." <laughs> you just be happy you didn't bust out the red balloons. <laughs> Or fly the red flag. That's right. I know these big girls will torment the little girls when they get it. Oh, yes. They'll be like, fly oh, the she red will. Flag. She's totally going to torment her sisters. I already know it. She's totally going to. I, I probably so will. Funny. Probably do the same yeah. thing as your old sister. She totally will. Oh, we could throw a party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do her pill. My aunt, who is past was allergic to metal. Okay, so she told us when she was younger, they had kind of like a belt. So this is like way long ago. They had a belt that would attach like the pad. Um, and so like one little clasp um, that would go on it was a metal piece, like just a tiny little piece. The other part was like elastic or fabric or something. Have to do this? And so she would rash up. It was very uncomfortable. Yeah, she, she would like rash that. up like, it was like, you know, on her front or her back, right? Like right by her bum or the front. And, it, and she would rash up during that time of the month because it had to hold the pad, you know, because it didn't have like sticky yeah. things back then, right? So my mom told her, granted, but her, her sister was much older. Anyways, and so that would, like, isn't that, wouldn't that be horrible? Be like awful. having a rash on top, on top of, of your period? Gosh. That was, that's horrible. Anyways, yeah, so. Sucks so bad. I am I'm thankful for modern feminine products. Me too. Thank you everybody for watching. This was really funny, and I think the girls are a little scared. Um, I am. <laughs> we want to thank the Leroy's and Cassidy from Jared and Cassidy for joining us today. Make sure you guys go and check them out. I'm gonna link all of their channels below in the description because we want you guys to give them some love for being part of our fun adventure today. <laughs> um, but comment below. We want to hear your crazy, embarrassing stories. Yes. Let's hear all about the string cheese and carrots. Oh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> all right. Mom. 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 Okay. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.